Ha. Didn't see you there. Sit down now, have a listen. This is the story about two pesky, significant otters that get themselves into quite a pickle. This is the story of Herman and Gretchen. Easy, Gretchen. Don't be so rough with the body. Sorry, Herman. This old beaver feels like a ton of bricks. What does it matter anyway? No one's going to miss an old lonely beaver. Are you sure this isn't going to look suspicious? How many otters do you know that live in beaver hutches? Just a minute. Quick, get him in the closet. Howdy, new neighbors. Didn't know Rupert was hitting the road. What a lovely home you two have. Sure, invite yourself in. Oof! What are you otters cooking in here? It smells like something died. Haha, <laughs> you know it. Just like Mama used to make. Why don't you come back later, neighbor? Uh, we'll have you over for dinner. Goodbye now. Why would you invite him back here? The body's still in the closet. Don't worry, it'll be long gone by then. Now. Help me get old Rupert out of the closet and wrapped up in this rug. I hope you like fresh fish. Oh boy, what a treat. Here, we'll take these. Why don't you go make us some dessert? Okay, Herman, help me get that old beaver and that dirty rug out of here and into the river. Okay, okay. Quick, get the front door so we can get this over with. Howdy, neighbors. Well, howdy, Rupert. Came to say goodbye, did you now? Oh, uh, yeah. Gretchen, g get the door for old Mr. Rupert here. Nice seeing you, old friend. Gotta go use the little beaver's room. You don't mind, Gretchen, do you? Oh, sure. Go right ahead. Help yourself. Second door on the right. Go, 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 go! go. go. But it did really know what happened to the good neighbor Hank after that interesting day. But I do know one thing. This entire tale was just utter nonsense.